All right, so a couple of days ago on the channel, I attempted to talk about Nintendo, Delta, and Apple. I was feeling a bit under the weather, but I still wanted to get a video out. I have this weird thing in my brain where if it's like I take a day off, like I feel like my relevancy on the platform is gonna completely disappear. I don't know, dude. It's work ethic, I guess, even though, I mean, I just talk about video games. But I kind of trudged my way through that video and basically just said my thoughts on the situation at hand. Obviously, Nintendo does not like emulators, especially when it comes to emulators that are playing their classic games and, of course, modern games. Now, with modern games, I mean, yeah, there's a bit of a bit more red flag area with this. But you would think if you're not offering these older games for people to play, and while, yes, there are some on Nintendo Switch Online, a vast majority of them are not, including first-party games such as Pokemon games, Donkey Kong Country on the Game Boy Color, Alleyway. I can't play Alleyway on the Game Boy on my Nintendo Switch Online. People are going to look for other options. And while there's Chinese companies that are making all of these crazy handhelds that I like to review on the channel from time to time, they have different copyright laws. There, well, really isn't any copyright laws. But when it comes to mobile devices, Nintendo probably has a bit more of a keen eye. Now, for the longest time, emulators were not allowed on the Apple storefront. And, of course, Apple is like one of the biggest cell phone things in the world i don't know once again like i said in that video like apple people are kind of like tesla people and like there's good people that have apple products there's good people that have tesla products the bad people are the ones that always have to remind you of that and it's like bro i do not care I could afford an iPhone, I could afford a Tesla, I choose not to do it because I'd rather spend my money on other things. And then there's people that look down, oh, you don't have an iPhone, you don't have a Tesla. Shut up. Shut up. But when it comes to Apple, they're obviously a very large company. And with having to sideload emulators onto your Apple iPhone and stuff like that, it wasn't a very easy experience. But then came along Delta. Now, Delta is an emulator that will allow you to play NES games, Game Boy games, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, Nintendo 64, even Nintendo DS games on it. And what's crazy about this is Apple has relaxed their policy on emulation stuff on their storefront. And now Delta is on the storefront, meaning that people are discovering emulation for the first time via the Delta app on Apple's storefront if you have an iPhone. And I said Nintendo was pissed off about this, and I definitely think they are. I mean, it, you know, when it comes to smaller things, like they could kind of turn an eye to it, you know, turn a blind eye to it. But when it comes to the bigger stuff, especially a company the size of Apple and essentially promoting this app on their storefront, things are going to get a little bit testy, I'm sure, in the upcoming future. Well, if Nintendo wasn't mad a couple of days ago when I made that video, they are seething right now there's there's literally like the cartoon animation of like smoke coming out of people's ears because they're so mad like that's what's going on right now at nintendo headquarters because let's take a look at this on the apple iphone storefront the top free app what is this oh it's delta it's got over four thousand ratings and keep in mind most people that like will get an app like this they're not gonna i've never rated an app and been like oh this is a good app like i don't care i'm using the app the fact that i'm using the app should show you that this is a good app but right now this is the number one application in free apps and of course they played it smart they showed homebrew games and stuff like that which I mean, technically, that's the way to do it. Basically telling you about the other stuff that you can do. It plays NES, SNES, N64, DS. Of course, it also plays Game Boy. I mean, when you look at the file name, GBA for iOS successor, like, yeah, it's going to play Game Boy on it. There's a freaking Game Boy Advance right there. No, no marketing on any of the skins, but you can get additional skins with it. But this is the number one app right now on the storefront and you have to imagine if nintendo wasn't paying attention before now they're really paying attention now they are, like they have to be super pissed this is a company that will like you know they'll they'll go after anyone for any little thing because they like to like push their way to like oh we're nintendo blah 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 like you would think that consumers 
would be kind of anti Nintendo sometimes with their policies on stuff, but everyone loves Nintendo when it comes to stuff like that. But the thing I find the funniest about this is people discovering like emulation for the first time. If you go over to the Delta um, Reddit threads, you find some very funny stuff such as this here. Emulator. Well, I just downloaded my first game I got from a legal website called Vim's Lair. Okay. That, that's not really legal. I, and I don't like Vim's Lair getting blown up like this. I like Vim's Lair for my um, older PlayStation stuff. It's fun, but I don't know why I was so nervous and my heart was pounding, so I took a break. Like, what? <laughs> oh, man. Like, I, I, you know, I get it. Like, it's, I guess, kind of, I don't know. I guess I'm just immune to it because I've been doing, you know, emulation stuff since, God, 2000. I mean, really, Nesticle. NES on on the PC back in the day, which was like early 2000s, I was doing it. I really got into it with N64 stuff with like Project 64, the early builds of that. But like this just made me laugh a lot. And you see a lot of people that are like super nervous about this. Like, you know, will I get in trouble for downloading this? Is Nintendo going to come after me? Is Nintendo going to sue me? And I think that while in a, in, you know, in a vacuum, that, that's a funny statement to make. I think it just shows you one thing about emulation is that a lot of people don't really know how easy it is. A lot of people don't really understand how easy it is and how far emulation has really come. And it seems like iPhone users, you know, they're just kind of in their own little world when it comes to emulation and stuff like that. They're not privy to all of these different things, but now that it's on a storefront now that it's the top free app on the iPhone. It's like, bro, you're ushering in a whole new legion of people, the casual market, because emulation has always been seen as kind of something for the mar more hardcore, you know, nerds sitting in front of a computer typing away at stuff like it. Cause that's how nerds type away on stuff like that. But like, you know, people like me, people that get in the trenches with emulation, but now that it's, you know, being accessible to a whole new audience. Nintendo, I, I, I can't, I, I, I have to imagine, I have to imagine they're going to do something about this. Like you, I, 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 because it's Apple, it's like, what can you really do? Because an emulator in and of itself is not an illegal thing. But this emulator being so versatile, covering so many systems, and it's only for Nintendo systems, like you're kind of poking the bear a bit. I guess they can maybe try to do a DMCA claim against this um, emulator on the Apple storefront, but would Apple even concede to that? Because sometimes these companies will essentially stand on business. When Nintendo tried to take down my Metroid Dread video that went up after the embargo, which, I mean, they really had no leg to stand on, YouTube actually sided with me. And they were like, no, there's nothing wrong with this video. It's after the embargo has gone up. So sometimes the company will sort of stand up to it. But I just find this thing so curious. Just how many people don't really understand the ease of emulation and what emulation can actually do it's funny when i made my nintendo switch emulation video i kind of just made that as like a bit of a goof and a gag and like when i first put out that video it didn't do all that great like it did fine but it wasn't like you know substantial or anything like that i looked at the video recently and it's my second most vid viewed video on the channel so i'm kind of like maybe i need to do more emulation tutorials like people don't understand how emulation changes gaming and improves upon gaming and the things you could do with it you know especially when it comes to classic systems like sprite based stuff okay like you could do some stuff with it but like 3d stuff like ps2 i've got ps2 games looking like ps3 games so i think i'm gonna dip my toe more into the emulation side of things and more into the tutorial side of things and show people how they can get these incredible results on their old systems now, I've kind of veered away a bit from the topic at hand, but I had a lot of things to say about it. But I just have to imagine that at some point in time, Nintendo is going to have to address this. They can always use the, well, we have N64 and Game Boy and NES games on our Switch Online, so this is infringing on our property. But is it? 
I mean, it doesn't come with any games. Delta doesn't tell you where to get any games. You have to seek all of that stuff out for yourself or watch a tutorial on YouTube in order to get it. I'm definitely going to keep my eye on this situation, though, because I don't think this is the last we've heard of it. And considering that Nintendo really hasn't done any sort of statement about it yet, I have to imagine they're going to do something. Look at what they're doing with emulators and Discord and Yuzu and Suyu and Fu and all this sort of stuff. They're not happy with this sort of stuff. And I get it on one hand, you're protecting your IP. But at what point in time are you going to realize that I mean, this is always going to be a thing, and there's really nothing you can do to stop it. There's really nothing you can do to stop it. So, you know, give more value to your customers on Switch Online stuff. There are still tons of key games that are not available on Nintendo Switch Online, and it doesn't seem like they're getting added anytime soon because they're too busy adding in some obscure Super Nintendo games. And yes, Super R-Type is good. It's a good game, but it's not the best version of R-Type. They're slow down in it, so get off your high horse when it comes to that. Anyways, guys, let me know in the comments section down below. Have you checked out the Delta emulator if you're an iPhone user? If you are an iPhone user, User, dear. Are you one of those people that puts their nose down at Android users? Because, I mean, that's pretty weird, bruh. And do you drive a Tesla, too? Because if so, I mean, you just fit the stereotype. And there's nothing wrong with that. And as always, guys, thank you for checking out this video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Like, comment, and share. Let me know in the comments as well if you want me to do some emulation tutorial videos. It's something I do a lot. And I set up emulators all the time and I remove them and re put them onto things because I'm weird like that. So I have a pretty good knowledge of it. And I'm actually thinking of doing a PS2 video potentially tomorrow to show you guys how to set up that emulator. Let me know what you think about it. And as always, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Later.